So the next thing I do is I take these rinds and just cut them up into some smaller pieces. Throw them back in the pot. It's just, I don't even know, I think I want to use that one for juice. Looks good. Hope I don't slice off my finger. It'd be really bad to have a video on. Still quite a bit of pineapple left on these peels too, so that helps with the juice it's not just pineapple peel I'm actually getting quite a bit of pineapple in there all right i'm just gonna add some water to this enough to cover it and then throw it on and let it cook for an hour or two release all those yummy juices and then i'll show you the rest of it okay well i'm back and uh, we've let this stuff boil for an hour or so and then let it cool for a while. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the uh, in the Vitamix and I'm going to grind it up a little and then I'm going to mash it through. If you've ever done applesauce, you know what this is. It's a little sieve that takes out all the chunks. I guess I need a spoon to do this. soften that up all that much. I'm kind of surprised, but it still does grind up pretty nice though. Just add a little bit of liquid in there. So I don't burn up my so I don't burn up my mixer. juice just starts pouring out the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not, but probably not. Just a little bit. I am so messy. Now for this part, in case you've never made applesauce before, just kind of poke this down through here and a lot of people will do this, but I find this motion much easier on my on my body, so this is what I normally do. And it just squishes all the juice out, and pretty soon you'll end up with nothing left in there but the pulp, and it's pretty dry. And then you have nothing but lovely juice left. And when you're done with this uh, mash, you can put it out in your compost if you compost it. Probably really good for your compost pile. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a super sloppy cook. I get stuff everywhere. All right, calling that good. 
good. Get some pulp in there, which I'm okay with. Let me give this a taste, see if it's sweet enough. Because I'm not a fan of sugar either. Mmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to call that good. The batch I did the other day, I ended up putting a little bit of honey in to sweeten it, but I think this one's good. So now I'm just going to put them in these half gallon jars and I'm going to refrigerate them until my freeze dryer is freed up again. And then I'm going to actually stick this in the freeze dryer and get myself some pineapple powder. Um, I've never tried that before, but I'm gonna try it. I think it'll work out great. <music> pineapple juice you could run this through a like a cheesecloth and get out the the pulp and just throw some little floaty uh, skin particles in here but that is not going to bother me so I'm leaving it as is that and uh, now I just need to clean up my big mess again. <laughs> <laughs>